guys welcome back to sjavi tech class in this class we will study about the six types of homomorphisms okay so this is six th which is nothing but six types of homomorphisms so this question is very important oftenly they are asking in your examination it's like yes i and it also and in set exams also they were used to ask okay so let's begin so this is our first type okay if the given function is in this form function is start from zm to zn okay if the given function is start from zm to zn then the formula for this is gcd of m comma n okay for finding the number of homomorphisms so it is our formula which is a gcd of m comma n so what oh, oh, here what you mean by gcd okay so gcd means greatest common divisor okay greatest common divisor there are so many there are so many types are there for finding the for fi for finding the gcd and another name for this is what hcf okay so hcf which is nothing but what highest common factor highest common factor there are totally 3 to 4 types are there for finding the gcd but uh, here i am using the easiest method that is a division method okay let us see an example then this will get clear to you all so this is our first example so first read the question carefully find the number of homomorphism from j8 to j12 okay it is our given function function is start from j8 to j12 so first what we have to do means in the first step we have to write the given function that is nothing but what function is start from function is start from j8 to j12 okay function is start from j8 to j12 so this is in the form of f from zm to zn right here our m is 8 and n is 12 we already know the formula for finding the number of homomorphism what is that is nothing but what we have to take the gcd of m comma n here our m is 8 and here our n is 12 okay i told you there are three to four types are there for finding the gcd but uh, but i am i am using always the very easiest method that is the division method okay so how what is the division method It means first you have to keep the smaller number in the divisor place okay so here our 8 is smaller number so i kept 8 in the divisor place then you have to keep the larger number okay which is larger here in between 8 and 12 12 is a larger number okay so that's why you have to keep this one in the uh, in the place of dividend okay in the place of dividend so after that you have to divide it so 8 times of 1 gives 8 12 minus 8 gives 4 okay so here i didn't get the, my remainder as 0 okay we have to divide this number until we get a remainder as a 0 okay here i didn't get my remainder as 0 at that time what we have to do means we have to keep this divisor in the place of dividend okay you have to keep this divisor in the place of dividend so now our 4 is a divisor again you have to divide it 4 times of 2 gives 8 okay so here 8 minus 8 is 0 here my remainder is what 0 this is my remainder okay this is my remainder when i get to my remainder as 0 when the divisor is 4 okay when the divisor is 4 therefore gcd of 8 comma 12 is 4 okay so this is very easy friends for finding the gcd even though if in the examination if they will give a larger numbers then also you can use this method and you will get answer is correctly okay so next come to the conclusion here the number of the the number of homomorphism homomorphisms okay the number of homomorphisms from from j8 to 
जेड ट्वेल्व आर हाउ मेनी फोर ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी इजी द थिंग इज दैट यू हैव टू नो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर फाइंडिंग द जी सी डी यूज दिस डिविजन मेथड दिस इज वेरी हेल्पफुल हेल्पफुल टू अर्स ओके बिकॉज एवरी वेयर इन इन एवरी एग्जामिनेशन दे आर फर्मली आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो दे आर समटाइम्स दे आस्क फॉर फाइंडिंग द जी सी डी ऑफ टू नंबर्स और दे विल गिव थ्री नंबर्स ऑल्सो सो लेट मी रिवाइज वंस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट द फंक्शन एज इट इज and after that just you have to take the gcd okay so for finding the gcd use division method this is a very easy method so that's why okay so let us see next type so let us move on to second type of the homomorphisms so second type of the homomorphism is in this form function is start from zm to Z n one cross Z n two. Okay, in the type first, in the type first, we have only Z m two, Z n. But here, and Z n one cross Z n two is there. Here also the same method. Okay, here also we have to take G C D. But just look at here, we have to take the G C D of m comma n one into G C D of m comma n two. This is our formula. If the given function is in this form, then what is the formula for finding the number of homomorphism? G C D of m comma n one into G C D of m comma n two. Okay. Let us take an example. So let us see an example for type two. Okay. So just look at here. What is the given function? Function is in the form of j twenty four from J twenty four to J three cross J eight. This is our given function. Okay. So now what we have to do? We have to find the number of homomorphisms. Okay. So how to find the number of homomorphisms? We already know the formula. So this is in the place of y m twenty four, which is twenty four is y m, and three is n one, and y eight is n two. Okay. So just Uh, if you want, you can write the formula. Otherwise, you can put directly. So for this example, I am going to write the uh, formula. So G C D of m comma n one into G C D of m comma n two. Okay. So in the place of m, what we have? We have twenty four. Okay. So we have a twenty four. In the place of n, we have three. So next. G C D of in the place of M we have twenty four and in the place of N two we have H right yes so I already told you there are three to four types are there for finding the G C D so you 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 can use the the very easiest method as it is nothing but division method okay so hmm, I'll do division here okay otherwise I'll do here so what I told in the previous example for finding this G C D First, write the smaller number in the place of divisor and larger number in the place of dividend. Okay, yes. So three times of eight gives twenty-four. Therefore, my remainder is zero. When I get my when I get the remainder as a zero, when the divisor is three. Therefore, G C D of twenty-four and three is how much? Three. Okay. So and the next second example. Twenty-four and eight. Uh, we have to find the GCD of twenty-four and eight. And what is the smaller? What is the smallest number here? This is nothing but eight. So I'm going to keep my eight in the place of divisor, and the largest number is twenty-four. Okay, so I keep twenty-four in the place of dividend. So next, eight times of three gives me a twenty-four. So here my remainder is zero. When I get zero here, when the Divisor is eight. Therefore, the GCD of twenty-four and eight is how much? Eight. Okay. Next, three times of eight gives me twenty-four. Therefore, therefore, the number of the number of homomorphisms, homo, homomorphisms. Homomorphisms from from J twenty four to J twenty four to J three cross J eight are 
how much 24 so this is uh, our second chart example here i just give uh, here i just give only one one example for each types if you want more examples put me your questions or put me your your queries in comment section and i'll give more examples and if you want you can um, you can contact me with the telegram group also and i'll provide the link of that telegram group in the description box okay so let me check once let me revise uh, let me revise it once again so this is our given function so this is in the form of type 2 okay so what we have to do just we have to take the gcd so so this is very easy friends you you have to do it okay you have to see it so let us see type 3 okay in type 3 the function is in the form of jdm1 cross jdm22 jdn okay so in the type 3 function is in the form of jdm1 cross jdm22 jdn in the first step only we have jdm2 jdn in the type 2 we 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 have uh, m1 to n1 into n2 but here jdm1 into jdm2 to jdn so here also the same process which is nothing but here also we have to take a gcd okay so here we have to take gcd of m1 comma n into gcd of m2 comma n okay for finding the number of homomorphisms from jdm1 cross jdm2 to jdn the very simple formula is what gcd of m1 comma n and m2 comma n let us see an example so just look at here it is our given function which is nothing but this is in the this is in the form of type 3 of course because we have in the place of m12 and in the place of m24 and in the place of n8 we already know the formula for finding the number of homomorphism for this type questions okay so if you want you can write down the formula otherwise you can write directly okay i'm going to write it directly so what we have to do so just write, take the gcd okay so just take the gcd of 2 comma 8 2 comma 8 plus next gcd of gcd of 4 comma 8 okay so as we know already as we know there are so many methods for finding the gcd for so here i am using the which one of course that is the simple method division method so how to find the division how to find the greatest divisor greatest common divisor by using the division method means we have to keep smaller number as our divisors and largest number as in the place of dividend so two times of four gives h right so here we get our remainder as 0 when we get our remainder as 0 when the divisor is 2 therefore gcd of 2 and 8 is how much 2 cross so next gcd of now we have to find the gcd of 4 comma 8 so here also we will uh, we use the which method divisor method only so here my 4 is a smaller number so i keep 4 in the place of divisor and my 8 is the largest number so i keep my 8 in the place of dividend okay so now i am going to divide this one 4 times of 2 gives me a h therefore 8 minus 8 gives me 0 therefore i get 0 when i get a 0 means when there is a divisor 4 at that time so gcd of 4 comma 8 is how much which is nothing but 4 therefore 2 times of 4 gives me 8 right so how simple it is so easily we can score uh, marks okay if we, if we just remembering this formula if you if you remember the concept also you'll you will definitely score the this you will definitely you will get marks okay so now it is our conclusion which is nothing but the number of the number of homomorphisms okay homomorphisms homomorphisms the number of homomorphisms from from what from j2 cross j4 to j8 are how many 
eight. There are eight. So there are eight number of homomorphisms are there. The function of from z two cross z four to z eight. Okay. So we have seen three types. So this is our fourth type. So in the fourth type, the function is in this form. Function is start from z m one cross z m two to z n one cross z n two. Okay. Function is in the form of z m one cross z m two. To Z n one cross Z n two. So here also for finding the number of homomorphism. So it is the formula. Okay. So what what is the formula? Just apply the previous method only. Okay. So just take G C D. G C D of first here there are four. Okay. So Z m one to Z n. First take m one comma n one into G C D of M one comma M one comma N two cross G C D of M two comma N one and I'll write here below G C D of M two comma N two. This is what this is our formula. Okay. See, just look at here. How to find the formula means G C D of first start from this one. Yam one comma yam one into yam one comma n two, and second G C D of m two comma yam one into G C D of m two comma n two. What I have what I have written here. This is the way for finding the formula here. Okay. So let us see an example. So this is our first example. So function is in the form of yam one cross yam two to yam one cross yam two. Right. Here our m is five, m one is five, and m two is twelve, and one is four, and n two is fifteen. Okay, so let me start for finding the number of homomorphism. How to find the number of homomorphism? We are, we have seen already, right? Just we have to take the G C D. So first take the G C D of five comma four, five comma four into next five comma fifteen. G C D of G C D of five comma fifteen. So next G C D of G C D of twelve comma four, twelve comma four. So next G C D of G C D of twelve comma fifteen, twelve comma fifteen. Okay. So now we know the very simple method for finding the G C D is which one division method. Okay. So here, in between five and four, what is the common divisor? Means this is a one. Okay. So next, in between five and fifteen, what is the greatest common divisor? Which is nothing but five. And in between twelve and four, four is the greatest common divisor. And in between twelve and fifteen, three is the greatest common divisor. Okay. So one times of five gives me five. Five times of four gives me twenty. Twenty times of three gives me. Sixty, right? Yes, correct. So next, what is our conclusion right now? So therefore, therefore, the the number of therefore the number of homomorphisms homomorphisms from homomorphisms from what? What is our given function? J five cross J twelve. Two, Z four, cross Z fifteen, are how many? Sixteen. Okay. So let us see. Just uh, the thing is that you have to remember. Uh, if you want, you can recall the formula. Otherwise, you just uh, keep uh, keep keep. Otherwise, you just re remembering the formula. Okay. Otherwise, you can solve it by recalling the concept. Otherwise, practice makes me easy to you all. Okay. So already we have seen four types, and another two types are remaining. Let us move on to next topic. So this is our type five. Okay. So in the type five, function is in the form of z two z n. Okay, z two z n. If the given function is in this form, then the number of homomorphisms from z two z n is what n. Okay, what z z n. Got it? 
So let us see an example. Example 1. The number of homomorphism from Z to Z15. Z to Z15. So if you know this formula, you can easily write down it. This is nothing but how much? 15. Right? So first write the given function. Given function is in the form of Z to Z15. Just compare to here. Just compare these two. Here Z, here also Z. Function is start from Z. Here also function is start from Z. And here this is in the place of N. Here we have 15. Therefore, the number of homomorphism, what? Therefore, the, the number of number of homomorphisms. Homomorphisms. Homomorphisms from from Z from Z to Z15. How much? Which is a 1. 1, no, 15. Right? Yes. Got it? In the place of 15, whatever the, they will they can give. 25, 30, whatever it is. So just you have to keep this number as here. That number is nothing but what? Number of homomorphisms. Okay. So already we done with the five, five types. I know the last type which is nothing but type 6. Let us see that one also. So this is our last type. Type 6. Okay. In the place of type 6, the function is in the form of ZDM to Z. Okay. ZDM to Z. Before we have seen, okay, in the type 5, we we seen what we have seen? Z to ZDN. But here, ZDM to Z. Okay. So, for this step, how to find the number of homomorphisms means? So, here the number of homomorphism is what? 1. Okay. 1. Whatever it is. Uh, here in the place of M, uh, which, whatever it is, it's like uh, no, whatever it means, so uh, 23, 24, or 30, 45, whatever. If the function is start from ZM to Z, and then the number of homomorphism is always only 1. So, here our given example. So, let us see what is in the example. The number of homomorphism from Z23 to Z. Okay. So, just look at here. So, in the place of M, we have 23. In the place of z, we have z. First, return the given function. Function is in the form of z23 to z. Okay. Is this looks like type 6 only, right? Yes. So, if you know the formula, then easily you can find out this one. So, what is the so what is the number of homomorphism for this function? Which is nothing but 1. Okay. Therefore, therefore, the Number of number of homomorphism homomorphisms morphisms from Z twenty three from Z twenty three to Z is how much? Which is nothing but one. Okay, so we see just just look at your friends. So these all types are very easy and oftenly they are asking uh, in every examination it's like your sign it and K sets exam or any other state uh, sets exams even though sometimes they are asking for PhD entrance exams also. The thing is just you have to remember these formulas and these formula, formulas are also so easy. So these all six types of homomorphisms which is this is a depend, uh, depending upon the GCD okay so if you are if you are perfect in GCD concept then definitely you will get a I hope this video get helps to you all if you like the video then give a big thumbs up and do share and comment if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button thank you thanks for watching